The pipe system is actually below us, about 15 to 20 feet underground. And the only real evidence that the system exists from up here are four manhole covers. If you didn't know that this equipment was here, you'd never know that we were generating electricity under the street. Almost all the cities on the West Coast get their water from gravity-fed reservoirs. The reservoirs are up in the mountains and they deliver that water down into the city in multiple conduits. And what we've done is designed a turbine to go in those water delivery pipes. Dams have been very, very useful in the U.S., but they're very controversial with environmentalists. The lucid pipe system is different. There is no impact on fish. There is no impact on wildlife. The lucid system bolts into the existing pipe. The blades of the turbine act like airfoils, and they create lift, which causes the turbine to spin. Our system right now makes enough electricity to supply about 150 homes in the city of Portland. Drinking water is flipped by gravity through the pipeline systems to the city of Portland. Elevation drop that it goes through results in two things. It results in velocity and it results in pressure. And the combination of those two are the energy. There's excess energy that needs to be gotten rid of. And rather than just dissipating that energy as heat into the water or into the air, uh, we're actually producing electricity by spinning a turbine, which spins a shaft and a generator up top there and then that uh, electricity is put onto the grid. When they were first turned on, it was uh, nerve-wracking, honestly. <laughs> so there's a lot of responsibility that we have. Your turbine has to operate safely, has to operate efficiently, has to operate consistently in order to produce electricity. Our biggest goal is to provide safe, clean, cool drinking water to our customers. So reliability of our system, not changing the water quality, and providing a return or a good investment is what we're looking for in these types of installations. It's not as easy as one might think. You have to be very thoughtful in where you put it, how you put it in, how you protect all those other values that you have invested in your system. In our particular case, we were doing a rather large reservoir project that had some piping infrastructure that was associated with it. We met the criteria that they were looking for in system characteristics. We were able to integrate it at the same time. It's a symbiotic relationship that we could have with our water delivery systems. It's pretty exciting because a lot of what we're learning about this turbine, nobody's ever learned before. So in that sense, yeah, I think we are kind of blazing our own trail. The city is very energy conscious. Wise use of water is always something that's in the front of our minds from an energy point of view, a consumption point of view, a water quality point of view. It's kind of the DNA that we have here. Portland is just a great example of water agency becoming much more progressive, thinking out of the box and realizing this is an untapped resource. We have a long history. I mean, we go back to when the bull run system was first developed with that gravity system. We're really blessed with a lot of foresight by some people almost 100 years ago. And we always use that as an example with our staff of the foresight that we expect from them to build into the systems that they build today.